Roll on back into his home. Hi gang, Tom Rivers. Our destination, the historic Boulder Dam Hotel in Boulder City, Nevada. Activate onboard GPS. And weather looks good. Just southbound on I-95 from Las Vegas, we're headed for one of my favorite awe-inspiring travel spots. Completed just a few years ago, it's become one of Nevada's most popular attractions. Even those ornery bighorn sheep have to agree, it's a must-see while visiting the Silver State. Now just a few miles more south on I-93, we'll be hovering 880 feet above one of the most incredible sights the Southwest has to offer. Yeah, that's it up ahead. The Hoover Dam Bridge. Man, that's a lot of concrete. Imagine, the year was 1929, the stock market had just crashed, and the United States fell into financial ruin. The country seemed like it was in a heck of a lot of trouble. So then President Herbert Hoover and Franklin Delano Roosevelt knew they needed to get people back to work and in a hurry. So they devised these National Works programs to bolster the faltering U.S. economy. One being what is to be considered one of the seven engineering wonders of the world, Hoover Dam. Built in 1931 to produce hydroelectric power and control flooding, Boulder Dam, as it was known back then, employed thousands of workers who came from far and wide to blast and dig in the hot blazing sun and scorpion infested sands of the Nevada desert. During the five years of the dam's construction, people who wanted to observe the massive project needed a place to stay. So local businessman Paul Stewart Webb acquired the lease and in 1933 built the Boulder Dam Hotel. Built in the Dutch colonial style, she was the belle of the ball for Boulder City. People would drive all the way up from Los Angeles via the old Arrowhead Highway, later known as US 91, and that included some pretty famous folks as well, like Shirley Temple, Harold Lloyd, even Boris Karloff. So come on, let's get ready to step back in time. I'm looking forward to some real hospitality in a comfy bed. Fantastic! <laughs> Boris Karloff, 1930 star of horror motion picture and television fame, slept here at the Boulder Dam Hotel in this very room. <laughs> Found it. Arrived at hotel. The front desk clerk had my suite already, and it's fantastic. And as for me, bunking with Frankenstein's ghost, well, what could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, hmm. Note to self, anything can go wrong. And another thing, no more chili dogs for breakfast. Hmm, don't see anything. Don't hear anything. I mean, uh, we're good, right? <sighs> well, big day tomorrow. Yeah, night, night. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You know, what a great way to start your day in beautiful Boulder City than with a great meal. You know, a complimentary cook to order breakfast is included with the room and a complete lunch menu is a must. You know, the people here have been so great and the service fantastic. You know, Whitney, 
I think I'll try the big damn breakfast. Thank you. Thank you. something you gotta see. Come with me. In order to get a feel of what it was like to have worked on the dam's construction, the hotel offers a, an interactive museum with exhibits that recreate the dangers and immense scale of the project, complete with historical timeline, photographs, and artifacts. You can just feel what it was like to be part of the grueling efforts of the workers. You know, I for one can appreciate the sacrifice those brave men and their families made during a very difficult time in our history. And it only cost two dollars. Come on, let's take a look. Dynamite. <laughs> Nipper. Juicer. Scaler. Mucker. Called him a mother mother. Hi, gang, this is Tom Rivers for Back Roads USA. I have here with me Mr. Roger Show, General Manager of the Boulder Dam Hotel. Roger, how are you? What a pleasure to meet you. Ahead, Tom, Thank you very much. Um, Roger, you know, the history of the dam goes way back to the 1930s. How long has this hotel been in operation? Well, actually, it opened in 1933 to house dignitaries coming to build the dam, coming to view the construction of the dam. That's right. You see, these tourists would come up from L.A. Yeah. The old uh, right. Highway, yes, right. Later known as 91, right, right. And, uh, and they needed. A place and to actually, stay. The, yeah, and the dam was the destination. They were coming to right. see this new phenomenon, this massive right. operation. It was yeah. going to open up the Southwest. That's as fantastic. It did. I know people love to come to Nevada just to, you know, to gamble and this and that. But you know, this is such a lovely, out of the way place. Is your guest base or visitor base worldwide? It is, and it's looking. For, it's people that are looking for an alternative to Las Vegas. They're looking for an authentic experience. And about 30 percent, or, or slightly more are uh, foreigners and most of that is European. Fantastic. Well we love to have everybody join us here in Nevada, especially yep. the, the Boulder Dam Hotel. And uh, how many rooms are actually in the hotel? Oh. There are 21 rooms in the hotel right now. It was built with many more but now we house other things. And uh, as far as uh, famous people and celebrities, that's what I'm really into. Yeah. Um, how many celebrities have actually visited uh, the Boulder Dam Hotel? Okay. Well, many over the years, but the heyday was before World War II. And I uh, saw such you know, important or famous people as uh, Shirley Temple, Howard Hughes, Will Rogers, uh, George Pepperdine, Cornelius Vanderbilt Jr. Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. We really appreciate being here, Roger. We appreciate you right. and the entire staff of Boulder Dam Hotel. Thanks, Roger. Appreciate it. Thank we'll you. We'll see you soon. Yep. Gang, there you have it. Boulder Dam Hotel, Roger Show. What a great time I had here at the Boulder Dam Hotel. Great food and service, friendly people everywhere. You know, I can see why the stars of yesteryear vacation here. I mean, the staff makes you feel right at home. Even an old boogeyman like Boris Karloff knew he could rest easy, knowing he was in good hands with the quality of staff and service. And rest easy. I mean, rest in peace. <laughs> Spirits come back from the dead to guard their ancestral home against intruders. Spirits that in life fed on evil and now in death return to feed upon the living. This is Tom Rivers for Backroads USA. We'll see you next week for another adventure. Take care, gang.
Hi gang, this is Tom Members for Backroads USA. You know, we love having you join us here at the Double Stampede. So please subscribe or like us on Facebook.